This is the worst. Doing a documentary on my scandal. Hi. In 2011, Anthony Weiner was an up-and-coming Democratic senator, one who was renowned for his inability to back down from a fight and his passion for what he believed in. Yet, at the peak of his popularity, revealing pictures that Weiner had sent through Twitter to a woman who was not his wife surfaced and forced him to resign from his position. While certainly a fall from grace, Weiner and his family remained in the political world through his wife, Uma Abedin, who was a close aide to Hillary Clinton. After garnering enough goodwill and waiting for enough time to pass, Weiner decided to run for mayor of New York in 2013 in an attempt to make a comeback and leave his messy past behind. Weiner also decided to hire a documentary crew to film the campaign, believing that, that it would become a chronicle of his success and eventual victory. What the documentary instead became was the 2016 film Weiner, an honest look at a failed campaign, a damaged marriage due to further sexting scandals, and the inner workings of a man who is too self-obsessed to know when to stop. At the time, I barely followed politics, and only knew about the scandal in passing, but not how it ended or the aftermath of the entire situation. Because of this, Wiener at times feels like a mockumentary, the events of the campaign seeming too crazy to be real. The entire film is a downward spiral, similar to a Greek tragedy set in modern American politics. At the center of the film is Wiener himself, a fascinating man who is at once charming and sympathetic, and at others a self-indulgent man obsessed with his pride. His actions evoke a flurry of emotions, which is what makes this documentary not only interesting, but entertaining. There are plenty of comedic and lighthearted moments, which only make the serious and almost uncomfortable parts all the more memorable. The other main player in the story is Anthony's wife, Uma, who is probably the most sympathetic and tragic person in this entire film. She had an extremely promising career as a close confidant to Hillary Clinton, she was respected and well known in Washington, and yet her choice to stand with her husband through the resurgence of the scandal and his increasingly poor decisions during the campaign You're a real scumbag, Anthony. Takes one to know one, jackass. slowly bring her down. By the end of the film, she appears sad sad and regretful, almost as if she's having a personal crisis. She's the true victim of this event and makes you hate Wiener if you didn't already. One scene that truly captures these two figures is the morning after a disastrous interview between Wiener and a news anchorman, where Wiener essentially makes a fool of himself. Both he and Uma watch the clip in silence. Anthony is smiling, looking as if this is pure gold it can only help in his campaign, while Uma looks confused and disappointed, opting to leave the room instead of continuing to watch the video. It has to be one of the best scenes in the entire film, for it captures the whole point of the documentary, that being how Wiener was unable to see how his decisions ruined the lives of those around him, and how power or self-indulgence led him to this point. Wiener is at once a series of funny, unfortunate events, a tragic look at slowly failing careers, and a fascinating analysis of a politician too close-minded and passionate to see the damage he causes around him. Too few documentaries are shown in theaters. If you have a chance to see this, especially in that setting, then please do yourself a favor and watch this film. Has anyone ever told you it's hard to get you to talk about your feelings? Let me ask you something. Are there any? There must be some species of fly that stays on the wall and talks, but I've never heard of one. Usually, is is the fly on the wall technique? Isn't that have to do a little bit with the notion of not being seen or heard? You just kind of pick up what goes on around you. 